as you can remember, in the first book, I was talking to you about how Sifri was hiding from the Baron. However, she gave up after a few months of hiding, finding out that the Baron was not looking for her. She soon came back to Edward Sinclair's as well, looking for more adventures. And this is when our story, The Jewel Moth, takes place. The Jewel Moth is about this young lady named Veronica Whiteley and this man named Lord Beecastle who gave a jeweled moth to her, looking something like this. However, the jeweled moth went missing and, and Veronica hired Sophie and her friends to find it. And after a lot of looking, they did discover it, however, in a place very unexpected. They found it on a young woman's dead body on, in a river, and it was in her purse. They soon also discovered that she was also blackmailing Lord B. Castle. After restoring it, after restoring it, Veronica was very happy and gave twenty pounds to them and lived very happily ever after. But do you think that's the end? Well, it's not. And if you want to find out who Lord B. Castle really is and what happened to the four friends after they gave they restored the jewel moth. You will need to read the book. Thank you for being here with me and I hope I'll see you on the next episode for next week. Goodbye.